with the fan, and you might remember that this was the one I called the mystery box fan in an earlier video. I found the fan grill for it, and actually found out that it's a wizard. It's a Western Auto wizard brand. First thing I'm going to try to do with this is to see if we're getting power through the switch at all. I've got the voltmeter here uh, set up on the switch. Got it hooked up with the alligator clip leads. So what I'm going to do now is to plug in the power cord here and we'll see if we've got power through the switch. And it looks like there there is power. I'm going to try turning it off. It's kind of strange that it's reading power th voltage through the switch even though it's off. Not sure why it's doing that. It looks like there should be full voltage getting to the motor though. So now I need to take the blades off and open up the motor and see what's going on in there. I applied penetrating oil to the uh, blade and uh, motor shaft area about four hours ago. And I let it soak. I loosened up the Allen screw on here and then I put on the vice grips here to allow me to get a grip on the blade to loosen it. Almost caught it all the way, way off. Let's see if I can just kind of press it, press it in there. I have to get the vice grips back here. Get a hold of the motor shaft. Get the blades off. inside of the electrical connections. I'm now going to mark the hot leads of the motor with some heat shrink tubing. Because the, all, all three of the leads kind of look alike. They're in a multi-conductor cable that comes from the motor. And since I'm going to have to disconnect this cable, I want to know which are the hot leads. It's got one hot lead for high, one for low, and then a common neutral. Got the heat shrink tubing shrunk now, and I can go ahead and remove the motor. Now, with the cable clamps disconnected, we're ready to remove the motor. It just has two screws, two nuts holding the motor onto the frame. The motor is pretty dirty. Take a look inside of it here and see what we got. Here's the inside of the motor got the rotor here, got the uh, front part here with the front bushing, let's put all the bolts in this little cup here, here are the windings, this will be, this will be the armature, and we've got the uh, back part here, it's really filthy and dirty, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum up some of this stuff, and I have to see if we can clean it some more. Looks like there's evidence of some burned stuff inside of here. So get as much as I can off just by brushing. Checking out the continuity between the uh, different windings here. 
and I found that there was a break right here, right here in this uh, in this winding here. Let's see if I can zoom in on it here. Right here. And this connects to the neutral side of the power line. Well, I wasn't getting any continuity to any of the other windings, so now I just got to find the break in the windings there. I think I've now found the problem. I've now uh, restored this connection here where the wire broke, and I've now got continuity from the neutral to the hot side of the line. Not a short, but the reading is uh, the about, about 14 ohms through the entire winding system. So I'm going to solder this con uh, connection now, and we'll use some heat shrink tubing to insulate these connections. I filed the connection first to remove the uh, remove any dirt and remove the enamel from the wire. Put the heat shrink tubing on all the connections here. Then go ahead and shrink it. This originally used some kind of paper insulating tape, which was kind of disintegrating. Pinch off the ends of the tubing here. 